So this is the first year that they're actually doing something a little bit bigger with the Dead Coconut Club. This time it's actually a split between vampires in the lower level and Blumhouse being on the second level. Of course, uh, I'm here now filming this during the daytime because when the nighttime, when you come up here, it is music blasting. <laughs> like copyrighted loud music. So it wouldn't make sense for me to talk. Like you wouldn't be able to hear me. It's that loud, but nonetheless, let's get on inside and check out for this year's Blumhouse Vampire themed Dead Coconut Club. one vampire familiars and humans are all welcome here at dead coconut club to note if you are coming here they actually open up at 4 p.m. so you can actually check it out um, before you go to horror nights if you're gonna you know do stay and scream if you're not playing to do stay and scream you can probably come over here check this out and then maybe go up to the gates for horror night so I do like that they are open at 4 p.m. all the way to 1 a.m. Now from the moment that you step into the Dead Coconut Club for this year, it is themed. I mean, it's themed on the outside, it is themed in the first room, and it is all dedicated to vampires. And they really did an outstanding job. There's lots of cool photo ops. I love this like retro 80s dead coconut club neon sign you got the big uh like coffins that you can take pictures in front of they have projections like everywhere i mean you really do feel like you're in grossed in like a vampire 80s club now me on the other hand i'm not a big club goer i love music love music but i'm just not one to be in a loud like dancing environment so i'm more like i'll grab a drink and kind of just chill and have conversations so maybe the vibe is not my type of thing but i do love like the aesthetics that they did for this year i would dare say that the coconut club is more themed better than i think the tribute store for this year is uh, inside this vending machine you can see it is themed all the way uh, there's like all sorts of blood vampire related snacks um, you really do feel like this is sort of like an 80s arcade you got neon signs even the bar is themed uh, even the TV above the uh, bar is kind of showing like this cool retro 80s kind of dead coconut club logo and here is a look at the menu uh, I did try a drink and we'll talk about that a little later. Um, like I said, the aesthetics around the entire thing. So there's all sorts of little Easter eggs for you to like look at and little signs and TV screens and, and homages to other vampires uh, from uh, Halloween horror movies. Uh, neon signs, you know, bite me. Like, it, like I said, you feel like you stepped into a vampire's club, which is so awesome.
is a look at the signature drink uh, that they have down in the vampire level. Now, I did ask for the souvenir cup, and for those who want to know, it is a souvenir cup that you can take over to Horror Nights and use it. It's not like a different style cup or something. So, same type of cup. Uh, the drink was delicious. Um, I actually tried to order the mocktail and somehow ended up with the alcoholic version. I think because of the loud music, it was just kind of uh, miscommunication. So I was going into war nights that night feeling quite different because at that point in the evening of recording, uh, I haven't had anything to eat since like 3 p.m. And at this point, it was like nine o'clock. 9 30 so yeah you could say i was drinking on an empty stomach Now, if you want to check out the Blumhouse portion, you are going to head upstairs. Uh, they actually themed the whole stairs. It's got like this cool light, the projection of the Blumhouse like uh, intro logos running. And then you head on up and you are engrossed into the Blumhouse world. In fact, the butcher killer, I, I'm probably messing up the name, but uh, this static statue of the killer from uh, Freaky scared the crap out of me because I was standing there recording and I did not like pay attention and I thought it was like an actor like standing in the corner it scared me but you can definitely check out how massively like wide this area is um, as far as the dead coconut club is really expansive then they also have homages to uh, The Purge. They actually have the video playing, the siren. Um, there's stuff dedicated to Freaky, obviously the black phone, uh, Megan. They have this really cool uh, Happy Death Day, the cake um, photo op. So there's so much little details that you gotta like pay attention in here. Uh, they have the, obviously the, the killer. Um, you have the banner sort of. It's just so much detail for you to check out. And then I do love, obviously, the black phone sort of photo op. Uh, it's really cool. Um, definitely, you can get some really cool photos. And they have, you know, the grabber who's sitting in his chair looking creepy. I believe it's the same one from the house because uh, this was the room that you thought he might have been sleeping. Uh, and you walk past him through the kitchen and they have dedicated obviously all the windows are dedicated to the Blumhouse uh, movies and then you can see Megan sort of has her own little side area which is cool they do have a cool Megan doll they have um, so much just like I said decor dedicated to Blumhouse to check out and that was a look at the Dead Coconut Club for 2024 I think they did a stellar job. I would say this is probably better than a Cabana Bay experience that we would have got and better than the current tribute store. Uh, if you check that out, what is your favorite photo op? What is your favorite little like Easter egg in here? I, I'm sure there's so much that I missed and I would love another opportunity to go and check out everything that I'm sure I missed. But that is it for the look at the Dead Coconut Club. What do you guys think? Uh, did you make it out? Do you like it this year? Yeah, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Uh, more videos are on the way, so stay tuned and thank you. And uh, peace out, everybody.